Hi, this is John Morgan. You're watching my series on new distinctions for entrepreneurs. By distinction, I mean you take something that you know is one thing and you look at a nuance of it, an aspect, suddenly you see that one thing is two things. You suddenly have choice or before you had none. Choice with which you can create a new inner world that is your experience and a new outer world that means the actual results you create in the world. In this series, I'll be looking at some usual entrepreneur stuff in unusual ways that will empower you to be more fulfilled, more effective, and more successful as an entrepreneur. This is video number six, how to hire, forge versus filter. So you're building your team. Maybe you're hiring your first person or maybe you're hiring a new person and you've already got a team. It doesn't matter. The point is, is when you put your ad out there for your job, um, and you're describing it, and you're most likely to put about what the tasks are, what the person needs to do, right? And then you put that out there and you get all these applications, CVs, resumes, people sending you stuff, and you have to look through them and start to get a sense where it just feel, does this person tick the boxes that I've written down, but also do they feel like the kind of person that might be uh, good for this position that might fit on our team and in our organization. And uh, then you, if you, you filter through those and you, then you throw some interviews and you, and you start having interviews and you start filtering through those people and you kind of whittle it down, whittle it down, whittle it down. Great. And part of that, that process is useful. Um, and then hopefully you find that one person. It's kind of like uh, hopefully one of the people who we really resonate with will show up. And hopefully somebody who really has the work ethic and these more of a, um, uh, inner qualities will just show up. Maybe they'll, hopefully they'll show up and pass through our filter. Um, it's a little bit passive. It's a little bit passive to filter for people, to put a job, general job description out and then filter and hope that you get the one person that you really want. There's a hope in there in the, in the filtering process. And so what I mean by forge instead of filter is to slow down. I could slow down speaking. You could slow down how you create people for your job. Uh, that you need, you need them hired for and slow down and think about like what is it that if this person were to be working for us we really want like what's the ideal person what what would make them amazing what would make them fit in to our family here to our organization what would make them um, be kick-ass in as far as effectiveness and productivity um, what would what would be like the dream person to have here and Slow down and really think about what that is. Think about the values, your values. Get really vulnerable and honest about what's really, really, really important. The things that you'd be that would be the deciding factors for you once somebody's sitting down in an interview. That you think, oh, I have to find that out when they're in the interview. Instead of holding on to that and it being a filter at the last stage, figure out what that is. Have a conversation with somebody that can help you draw that out. I do this all the time with people I'm in conversation, entrepreneurs I'm in conversation with. Draw that out, figure out what it is. And then once you have what that is, all that stuff, the stuff that really matters that, you, that you're that there trying to feel at an interview, once you know what it is, bring it forth and extend it into your job description that you speak out into the world in print, online, and when you talk to people about who you're looking to, to bring in. And all of a sudden, instead of you, um, it's very similar to the marketing idea where instead of trying to locate that market, you're trying to co-create that market through the expression of what it is that you do in such a creative way that it creates that, it draws that out of people. Um, in this way, you're putting the, the, the deepest part of what you want from this person is out into the world. And not only does it spark the attention of people who, uh, would be interested in your company because of the values that you share, but it would also inspire in par the parts of people to come forth that would be interested in working with somebody who has that intention and attitude and orientation. Whereas before they may not have looked at your role that you're offering and they may do so because they resonate with the deeper aspects. And just like in a human relationship, a partnership, a marriage, whatever, dating, like the deeper part, the values, that part, that's where things really matter. To find somebody that can just do these XYZ tasks, I mean like people can learn stuff. And if you have somebody doing stuff but they don't really connect with your organization, your mission, your purpose, who you are as an organizational leader on a values level, then there's gonna be friction anyway and they're not gonna work out. You really want to connect with somebody at that deep level anyway, so figure out what it is, put it out there, extend it out there, have that be the headline of, of your job description instead of the skills or tasks or whatever that they need to be doing or the role title or something boring like that. And by doing so, you'll forge that person, you'll create them instead of hopefully find them or filter through, uh, hopefully find them as, or the, as they filter through your filtering process. 
Uh, it's a subtle difference, a subtle distinction. But when you go into hiring somebody, think about forging them, drawing that out of people or, and, and, and creating those people in your world by your willingness to slow down, know what it is you really want, what's really important, and then speaking that out and expressing that in the world. So many entrepreneurs hold that back. They just keep it like a secret thing that they, that they try to figure out at the interview. But you put it out there first, you'll save time and you'll create better people. Much love. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the button, and also share with your friends, share the love, tweet it, Facebook it, Google Plus it, LinkedIn it, whatever you do, get it out there. And of course, if you really want to engage in this idea, down below in the comments, the discussion, the dialogue is where the best insights come. Challenge me, ask me questions, I will get back to you. Your ideas, your comments help me to create more videos. Finally, if you're interested in learning at all about what I do, my personal coaching for leaders, artists, musicians, sole proprietors, anybody who's a creative force in the world and creating their own things, check out my website. Also, if you're a coach and you want to learn more about my apprenticeship or learn more about how I create coaching clients, check out my website, link down below. Much love.